have a lot of back pain, a lot of back pain sometimes. I'm Mike, and in this episode, why Blogilates and the vast majority of people are experiencing back pain. Heck, even Tobey Maguire almost had to cancel a Spider-Man sequel because of his back pain. This is serious. All right, right off the bat, I really like Blogilates as a person, and I think it's awesome that she encourages people to be active. A while back, she posted a great video on stretching for her lower back pain, where she explained that she has a lot of back pain, which she contributed to prolonged sitting. Sitting is definitely a factor, but it turns out that it might just be the trigger. I'll explain this in a second. But first, how big is this epidemic? 84% of people experience back pain at some point, nearly a quarter of people have chronic back pain, and most importantly, back pain is the second leading cause of disability, disabling nearly one-eighth of the population in the US. Now for that explanation. It turns out that atherosclerosis doesn't just give you heart attacks and strokes, it affects your entire vascular tree all around your body. But Blogilates is an active young woman, she couldn't possibly have clogged arteries. But when you eat animal products that have cholesterol, it starts young. Not it can start young, it does start young. This landmark study showed that, quote, almost all persons have aortic fatty streaks by age 10. Aortic meaning aorta, referring to the largest artery in your body. And now, here's Dr. Michael Greger blowing your mind. Starting in our teens, our discs are already starting to degenerate by age 11. But how does this actually happen? It turns out that our lower back is especially sensitive to artery clogging because it's the largest section of our body that doesn't actually receive blood flow. It's avascular. This means that in order to keep your discs healthy, nutrients just kinda has to diffuse into your spinal column. Since we have tiny arteries in our lower back that will clog way before your heart artery, that mechanism of diffusion is prone to fail. And the pictures, I will spare you from the pictures because ouch. But Blogilates couldn't possibly have spine degeneration. That's crazy. Well, here's a study published in the international peer-reviewed Spine Journal showing that when you randomly select people with chronic back pain, about three quarters of them have clogged arteries in their lower back, and over half of them have, quote, significant spine degeneration. Here's another study that links atherosclerosis clogged arteries with lower back degeneration. They say, quote, by the age of 20, roughly 10% of the population in developed countries already has advanced lesions in the abdominal aorta. And then it points to figure one, and oh my god, close your eyes, then three, two, one. Oh, there it is, it's gross. There's a bacon joke here, but I'm gonna refrain. And okay, it's gone. And to drive it home, the study said, quote, High serum cholesterol levels were found to have the most consistent associations with disc degeneration and lower back pain. And exploring the cholesterol levels of different diets, here's a chart showing how you can go from 194, being an omnivore, all the way down to 146 as a vegan. But Blogilates isn't just any old omnivore. She eats healthy, right? Well, it turns out 90% of Americans believe they eat healthy, and we know that's just wrong, and she fits right into that 90%. For decades, she's been eating animal products day in and day out with high levels of cholesterol and saturated fat. And foods high in protein, like eggs, meat, and fish. Here's some healthy, wild-caught fish. I am totally into seafood. Which is loaded with cholesterol. Maybe some lean chicken breast? I'm getting a chicken salad. Loaded with cholesterol. And to top it all off. Then I'm gonna add on my eggs for protein. Eggs have so much cholesterol that eating more than one egg a day can increase your chance of death by 23%, according to the Physician's Health Study. Like how researchers can predict disease with the unit pack years for smokers, they can also predict disease with egg yolk years. And a recent study found a similar exponential growth in artery plaques between smokers and egg eaters. So she's creating an illusion with the belief that she's eating healthy, but in reality she's eating all of the foods that cause heart disease, atherosclerosis, clogged arteries, etc. And she's also conscious of how many calories she consumes, as you can see here. But if you eat too much, an excess of calories is still an excess of calories. As it turns out, on a plant-based diet, you can eat ad libitum 
or in scientific terms, as much as you freaking want, and studies show that you still get all of these benefits. You can reverse heart disease as this famous angiogram shows. You can repair the endothelial cells or the lining of your arteries. You can reduce inflammation. And above all, you can stop starving your lower back of oxygen and nutrients and reverse your lower back pain and be well again. In conclusion, Blogilates, I know you have a really healthy lifestyle, but why not try snuffing out the early signs of heart disease by eating a whole food plant-based diet for a whole month. See if your back pain goes away. I bet it will. Thank you for watching.